channel so on today's video i'm going to show you how to achieve this really silvery um christmas uh thanksgiving glam look don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i just want to thank everyone that's already subscribed everyone that's been supporting me i really appreciate you guys so let's get straight into the video and we are going to get into the video the first thing that i always use is my becca velvet blurring primer so as in all my videos the second thing that i'm going to do i'm going to start with my lids so i'm going to go in with my elf um eye primer in the color sheer i don't know if i uh, said the color before but my e.l.f. Um, primer, we're going to put that on my lids and combine with my Maybelline stick. And we're just going to add that to our lids to start off this look. So now that we have added the primer and the concealer to our lids, we're going to go in with our super duper affordable Color Mate um, palette. I did get this from my local Dollar Tree like last year or something like that and it's like a really super pigmented um palette that i really enjoy so the color that i'm gonna go in is with this gray right here um since i'm going for a silvery look today the brush that i'm gonna use today is this brush that i also got from dollar tree um which is um the wet and wild brand you guys may see a lot of people using this so i'm gonna go in with this gray color right here and we're just gonna put that all over the bottom of our lid Because this is a dollar palette, it's still pigmented, but it needs to be layered. So I layered it about six or seven times. I know it's a lot of layers, but it's still a palette that I do enjoy because it was a dollar oh five. But one thing I can say, it's gonna be a lot of fallout. So I would highly suggest you don't start with your foundation where you're gonna be using these cheaper palettes. Um, like I said, they are good. Don't let people get you like effed up and think that these palettes are bad or anything it just has tons of fallout so make sure that you start with your eyes and then you add your foundation so following that i'm gonna go in with another color mate um palette i probably should get the name of them right you know guys these palettes are so cheap they don't have a name to them but um the next palette that i'm gonna go in is with this one and we're gonna go in with this white color right here to build on top of that silver so we're gonna take the same brush with the same color and we're just gonna build right here on top of that silver color so guys to break up that super silvery look that i have going on now i'm gonna go in with this gray color right here and we are just going to apply that right there. To mention that I did um, change the other brush for this brush, this wet and wild brush that I also got from Dollar Tree along with using that third color on this Color Make palette. So we're going to go in and then I'll do an example on this eye. So we're going to go in just the center area to break up a lot of that silver, super duper silver we got going on. Add a little like smoky gray in there. Next up that we're going to do, we're going to go in to, with this second silvery color and we're just going to add that to the bottom part. So as you can see, we're going to go in and just add, I'm sorry, okay, this part of the lid. eyes the last color wise thing that we're going to do pretend to our eyes we're going to go in with this dark color right here with my luxie 250 large eye blending brush and we're going to go in with this one two three fourth color right here i hope you guys can see and we're just going to go do this and then we're going to put that at the top here So you've added all the colors i am gonna go in with this rich radiance cocoa butter cleansing wipes i love these things guys it smells like cocoa butter it's really soft it's really good for african-american skin we're gonna go in with this uh, makeup wipe and we're gonna clean up all that excess makeup like i said unfortunately this palette does have fallout but it's still pigmented and it's really good um for a holiday thanksgiving especially christmas or around the holidays if you're 
going on a date. This is a really like great silvery um, cheek palette, start palette to go with. So we're gonna go, we're gonna clean this up and I'll be back with you guys, baby. We're gonna go, we're gonna clean this up and I'll be back with you guys with the final look. So now that we've cleaned up the eye areas, we're gonna go in with one more thing. I'm sorry, I said I was done with the eyes. Well, we're going with this Ace Beauty um, glitter shadow that I did get from my BoxyCharm. They do run $25 per little thing, but they're very, very pigmented. So I'm gonna take my finger. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my finger like such, and I'm just gonna go over that part at the bottom right there just to add a little shimmer and a little glimmer so we're going to take our fingers and we're just going to run over this is how it should look after you go in with that ace um shimmer palette i mean shimmer uh single color i do really like it because it gives me the same effect as glitter but glitter gets all over my face and i hate it and i be shining for days but this gives me that same glittery effect so if you're looking for something shimmery for the holidays i would highly recommend you check these out 25 dollars is a bit expensive but for some people it won't necessarily break the bank so i would highly recommend this color for you guys to go out and buy it um, the next thing that I'm going to do, we're going to start with our foundation. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use this LA Colors Glow Now um, Illuminator that I did get from Dollar Tree for $1. So I'm going to go right here. And you see it like gunk, like falls out or whatever. It's really cheap. It's only $1. So I'm going to mix this in with my foundation. And the foundation that I'm going to use is going to be the Fit Me palette. So it's in the color 368 Deep Golden. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with this LA Concealer in the color um, Beige. You guys, I think her name was Lexi. She gave me really good advice. I think she told me I had to go with Color Up for my concealer. As you guys know, I'm transitioning jobs right now I am taking an all your advice and there will be more hauls and I'll be revamping my whole makeup collection and things but as of right now I'm gonna just use what I have and I have a new addition to the family so I did get this beauty blender I cannot remember for the life of me where um, but I did get this beauty blender in my boxy charm haul if you guys want to check that out I'll add that in the cards and I did wet it so it did get a little bigger so I'm gonna try this beauty blender out I'm gonna blend everything under my eyes and blend everything on my forehead and I'll be back to show you guys the results we go in with our concealer we're gonna go in with this hydrating miss Becca setting powder um, I know it's a little bit on the expensive side but I added it in my affordable makeup because I did get it from my boxy charm which is $21 all together with everything that I got valuing over a hundred and twenty dollars so it is technically affordable if you do do the boxy charm so I'm just gonna bake my face at this point so I'm going to use this blending brush. We're going to put it ooh, on the blending brush like so. And then we're going to put it under our eyes. I do add this to my whole face because I do like the effect that it does give me. So that's just how I do it. I add a little bit to the top like such. And I'm going to go in and bake my face with this. Contour. I'm going to use this Beauty Benefits Press Powder. It is in the color, I'm not sure, but it's a really, really dark color. And the reason why I'm using this to contour today, because it was a dollar. So I was like, you know what, let me try to contour with this. So this is how it comes out. It has a little bit of shimmer on it. And we're going to go in with this, um... <coughs> we're gonna go in with this bronzer brush from the elf um haul that i did do and we're gonna add a little bit to the brush brush this oh you guys see that fall out crazy this was a dollar so we're gonna go in like smart for a dollar y'all know i'm good for like trying out dollar stuff um this stuff is super duper powdery i hope you guys can see even if like i tap on it it's like powder just coming out but i still think it looks nice and it's for like if I had a daughter, I would get her stuff like this to humble her. Like, girl, start from the beginning. Start from the, the loose pigmented stuff. So the next thing that I'm going to do while we still have the finishing powder on our face, we're going to go in with our favorite, Hank and Henry Eyeliner. As you guys know, this is my favorite. I'm going to re-up on this. This is the only eyeliner that I'm going to use. They have the, um, the eyebrow and the eyeliner on sale for $30 right now as a combined um, deal. I did go on and check it's usually 56 and the eyeliner is 17 dollars so guys i'm telling you 
It's the best $17 you will ever spend in your life. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with this um, brow brush. I'm gonna brush these brows out. And then I'm gonna put this finishing powder, this brown color, on my eyebrows. I do like the brown. Thanks guys for the suggestion. Um, I do wanna buy brow tint and things like that. So I will be revamping or will be adding to my makeup collection. But as of right now, we're gonna go in with this dollar um, Beauty Benefits press powder and we're gonna add this to our eyebrows. Out this finishing powder that we have all over our face. We added our brows. So we're just gonna buff out this finishing powder that we have. This is how your face should look after you cleared that Becca setting powder. Um, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go in with our Wet n Wild. Um, I did have this in my Dollar Tree haul. I have been using this for forever. This Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. As you guys know, I don't know how to put on individual, I mean, strip lashes. But I will soon be buying the magnetic ones to see if that will work. So stay tuned for a review with that. But in the meantime, we're just going to go in with this Dollar Store. Um, Wet and Wild Mega Wear um, Mascara and I'll be back to show you guys that. So the next thing we're going to go in with this Big Ego Tarte which you guys know I've used all the time. I'm just going to go in one time following that um, Wet n Wild Mascara. The Wet n Wild is really, really great, but this Tarte is like boom. So we're going to go in, and like I said, it is affordable because I did get it from my BoxyCharm. So it's not something that I bought individually. So we're just going to follow that up one time, and then we'll be back to show you the other part of this look. It does give you a little bit of shimmer. The next thing that I'm going to use, I'm going to go in with this color Glow on top of that color that I just added. And I'm going to add this on top of that as well as to my nose. So we're just going to add a little bit of that to the sides here. Not a lot. And down and my nose. So guys, after you completed the look, I did end up changing my lips to using my um, Iconic London Lip Pumping as well as that e.l.f. Cherry because I felt like that purple color was just a bit much. But this is how your final look should be. Hit the elevator. 